gonna have myself a cheeky little trade. Let's see how we get on. And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you who have not seen me before, my name is Langers, and I am the overgrown child that is the scruffy trader. No shock. You dirty old man. And what I'm trying to do is kind of put training in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. So if that sounds good, please click the little subscribe button. It genuinely helps. And if you are subscribed, just check that the bell icon switched on. So what markets am I looking at today? Well, it's the pound Swissy. And it's starting to look good. And reason being, it's been on a massive sell-off. So let me find my charts and we'll have a look. Well, we're waiting. Okay, guys. So this is the chart of choice today. It's just a pound Swissy. I've already been having a, a quick little chat with the guys about it this morning. Um, this is our Discord group, by the way. Uh, it's all things Forex, indices, commodities, you name it. Down here we have a list of videos that you can check out anytime. And also the live streams that I do regular, that is full training to the guys about what I do and how I do it. So this trade's already been called out, but I haven't taken it yet. But it is starting to look good now why is it looking good as you can see it's all pre-marked out just get rid of those dotted lines so you can see it cleanly and it is now starting to push and break this area good sign am i going to enter at this moment in time no is the answer because this is a solid level and I don't particularly like trading into a level. Um, so I want to see it either come back slightly and then move back up or get into what I would mark here as a zone, which you've seen me before. And then when it gets into the zone, I'll trade out of the zone, but I don't particularly want to trade into it just because there's not enough movement at this moment in time. Now, if you top down this, you'll see super drive up. It's topped out here and wallop has it sold off all this week. And that's what interested me because look where it's stopped dead. Bang on this level. Came down, stopped. Stopped there before and you can see that here. So you're now looking at logical points. And my logical entry point is here with a move into the midpoint and then possibly to the top to brush the bottoms of these. Very simple. And now that's from the daily. Look at your hourly to get your trade idea, which is down here. Because on the hourly chart, that is, well, it's telling you it's shooting down. And it has been buying back up for the last three hours. But I want to see some form of reaction before I'm going to get involved. So I'll leave this alone and I'll come back to you when it's ready to trade, uh, which let's see, it's now the 10 o'clock candle. So I'll be looking at it at around 11 o'clock with a possibility to getting in probably about 12. So I'll catch you in a bit. Isn't that logical? Okay guys, so we back. It's pulled back here, as I was saying, into this green. It's rejecting this area and it's now pushing. Do I have enough for 10 pips? Because that is all I'm shooting for. 16. So we are pretty much good to go. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll drop it to a five minute to fine tune this. One, two, three, four, five. So it's kind of the tops of there is the entry. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop an order in. 
Now what you've got to be a bit careful with this market is the spread is three. So what we'll do is we're going to put one order in at five and I'm going to put another order in the same place for 10. Okay. So that's the, the initial. So what I'll do is I'll draw a little line in because I am going to sort of bounce these. Once I've got past this area, I won't be looking to enter anymore. And what I mean by that is I have some lines here, which are what's called madness lines. In other words, as long as the price stays between this red zone and this red zone, as you can see, it's clearly marked out. I'm expecting it to do that bounce up and down and but I'm mainly expecting it to jump between there and here now if it breaches that it's not a major issue I will look to enter the market here 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 possibly in this section here but if it goes to there I'm out you know it's on the other side of this this line and why am I doing that it's just a way of getting in at a better price, that's all. all right. But in the meantime, it can spike up, give me five points, come back. And all I'll do is, if I draw another line, there we are, we're in. Just put another line here. Just for argument's sake, we'll colour that one black. And what that's for is, if it goes up, takes me in, I'll put another order here, which is the same order, to see if it'll take the five out again. And we'll keep doing that till it keeps on rocking to take out that one. And if it takes that one out, result. And what we'll do is, if I put in another little line here, we know that that's 10 pips. Just in case it wants to run a little bit, we'll just stick it there. And we'll just let it get on with it. Um, I've already told the guys in the scruffs exactly what it is I am doing. Uh, I'll just quickly show you. So, yes, we have in our martial arts day to day and our Euro Funk. But trade ideas. There it is there, uh, where are we at? So I've put it in, oh, sorry, there it is there, in the Forex section, okay? And that was posted up five to 11 before I was rechecking this, okay? So the guys know exactly what it is I'm looking at, why I'm looking at it, and how I expect it to play out, okay? So what we'll do is, I'll just let the camera run, and I'll come back to you at the end.
that is that guys task complete yes i was a bit busy and i missed a couple of entries uh which is why you saw it bouncing around but went from there tagged it back at this point let it come back go back into it tagged it back here as soon as it had passed that that's the end of any sort of extra tags let it run into target and there it is right there hardly went against me job done it's not the biggest day i've ever had but it was a nice easy trade right the way through and if you look at the swing video that i've been doing that came into play as well so you'll see that on the other video okay so quite a successful day happiness so it was a nice easy trade today nice easy video uh, if you're interested in all this sort of thing by all means contact me i'm very easy found the contact details are in the description below and as always do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one Thank you.